healthy and safe and your learning path and using the videos that I'm creating. Guys, we are actually going through the basics of Python. So I've created a playlist starting from the installation of Python and we are going through all the basics of Python. We are learning basics of Python in this tutorial series which is on Python and we have also made few projects and once the basics are over we'll be making bigger projects we'll be learning new technologies new libraries however it is very very important it is imperative that we spend some time on basics and learn them thoroughly so guys if you have not watched this channel before I've created this playlist on Python please check it out start from the very first video and then keep following right now we are on topic of loops however if you follow the playlist a lot of other basics will be clear in your mind and if you make the projects that I've made on this journey in this journey I would say um, you will get much better in Python so I'll tell you what this particular video is about guys there's a very popular challenge which is called fizz burst challenge it's actually um, a challenge or a question that comes in interviews as well and it is to test your knowledge on loops so I know we have not covered why loops as yet but I thought we should be able to make this particular this particular challenge using for loops and then once we have learned the while loops we will we are going to make this particular challenge in while loops as well so using the same thing so this for the same question we'll be creating a for loop and a while loop once you have learned while loops so guys it is a very important question you can google it as well it's called fizz bus and I'll show you on um, a very important website which is called HackerRank. HackerRank is a website which is used to learn coding and learn the challenges. So you can see yourself that this particular problem is mentioned on HackerRank as well. And this is what the problem is. Write a short program that prints each number from 1 to 100 on a new line. For each multiple of 3, print fizz instead of the number. For each multiple of 5, print buzz instead of the number. For numbers which are multiples of both 3 and 5, print fizz buzz instead of the number. So guys, this particular problem on HackerRank is asking you to create print numbers on new line. It may not be the case in the problem that they give you in, a, in an interview. So always read the question properly. Don't just copy and paste. Or first thing is to understand the logic of the program. Whatever the question is, it is very important understand that so when you're given a, when you are given a question you should first of all read it it may seem similar to the question you have done prop like previously in your life however there might be some slight changes like in this case this on a new line may not be present in the question that you get okay so yeah or the numbers might be 1 to 20 
they may not be 1 to 100, they might be 1 to 20, 1 to 50 or whatever. So always make sure that you follow your code based on the question they are asking. Okay. Now, just before we go further and create this program using for loops, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you have not liked the videos, please like the videos. I put a lot of time in explaining these concepts to yourself and um, I work full time as well so it gets hard sometimes to take some time out. So please like the videos and it will give me motivation to um, make more videos frequently as well. If you have any questions you can always ask them in comments section of the YouTube channel and, and um, on the on the video particular video that you have questions about also if you um, have any suggestions you can also put them in the comments section on that video and guys please share these videos with your family and friends increase the community so there's more people to help and more help to get answers from as well so guys without wasting any further time let's create this problem and the solution for it okay let's create the solution for this but check out this uh, particular website called hacker Inc. you will learn a lot more from this website as well okay now i'm going to pull up my visual studio code I'm going to create a new file. I'll just call it fizzfuzz.py. So I created it as a text file. I'm just going to save it as um, fizzfuzz.py. And on my desktop there we go so guys as I said we'll be creating this program using a for loop so the question says write a short program that prints each number from 1 to 100 on a new line for each multiple of 3 print fizz instead of the number for each multiple of 5 print buzz instead of the number so when the number is actually completely divisible by 3, we have to print fizz. When it is completely divisible by 5, we print pass. And if the number is completely divisible by 3 and 5, for example, of, um, of like for example, this number would be 15, print fizz pass. So um I'm just going to move this here maybe this way you can see the question so oh no but I will pull up the question like that okay now anyway let's just say for I don't want to decrease the size of this to code like I can move it or maybe I can this will do okay Let's say for number in range so what should be the range remember in range function the higher value is not included and we have to search this from 1 to 100 so I'm assuming both 1 and 100 are included so I'll take the higher number as 101 and I'm just gonna say if num is divisible by 3 and to check um, if you have not followed along the previous videos 
I've made a video on Python operators that will actually explain you what this is. This is modulus operator and if you have not, if you don't know what this does, it checks if the number is completely divisible by whatever we are putting here. So if there's a remainder, then the number is not completely divisible. Like for example, if you divide eight by three, it is not completely divisible. However, if you divide nine by three, then it is completely divisible. So this modular operator actually check, it checks if the number is completely divisible or not. So please watch the video if not, if you have not watched it on Python operators and that will give you a clear understanding of what's happening here. Also, if you have not followed, if you have not watched the videos uh, for on loops, um, please watch the video that I've created on for loops and it will give you um, a basic understanding of how to write for loops and I've made a video on conditionals as well. So that will give you understanding of how to write conditionals. But anyway, oh, I'm just gonna write this. I'm just gonna say, if this is equal, equal to zero, and if num, percentage 5 is equal to equal to 0 actually there would not be any if here so using end then what we do is we type This was. So this particular condition is fulfilling this third condition here for numbers which are multiples of both 3 and 5. That's what we are doing. And to cover the first two conditions, I'm now, now going to say elif. I'm just going to copy this because I'm very lazy. You should not copy. Nobody recommends you to copy, but sometimes if it's repetitive, you just copy it, I would say. <laughs> but please make sure you know how to write it. What I mean is, like obviously you know how to write things, but what I mean is you should be able to write the code without copying it. Anyway. Um, gonna say print the fist yep and elif that should be five print bus else print no okay so let me run this first so one is not divided by is not divisible by three or five and this condition does not satisfy as well because it's not divisible by any of them so the number gets printed so else statement runs same for two however three is divisible by three so that's fizz five is divisible by five so that's pass 15 however is divisible by both of them 
So that's FizzBuzz. Also 30 is divisible by both of them. So that's FizzBuzz again. And you can see We have run this program until 100. You can also write something like this and I'm just going to copy this because I'm very lazy. this sorry that was my bad I didn't put the segment everywhere. So, if it's in the same line that you want the program to be, then you just do end statements. However, if you want it in separate lines, which I've done earlier, you don't have to write end statements. And I think this program is requesting you to print in separate lines anyway so we don't really have to do this bit so guys this particular program seems really 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 simple if you have worked on for loops if you have learned for loops properly this is very simple I guess it should be um, but if if it's not something, um, sorry, I'm just fixing the program just to while talking. Yep. So yeah, it's fixed now. So if you have not learned for loops from the video that I've created, please go and watch it. This particular program, as you can see, is very popular. You can see it on hacker rank as well um, you can see if you just google hacker rank fizzbuzz or if you just google fizzbuzz or fizzbuzz challenge fizzbuzz problem this particular program like this particular challenge will come up and as I earlier said it is a challenge that um, a lot of companies ask in their coding interviews so I thought I should make a small video on it we will be creating this particular program using while loops as well once we have learned while loops so guys I hope you have learned this fizzbuzz problem and it helps you in coding interviews. Please subscribe to the channel. Keep watching these videos. Share them, like them, and let me know in comments if you're learning Python using these videos. Keep watching, and I will meet you in future videos. Thank you.